Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back once again to the Hop House. It's Eddie here, and yes, you've guessed it's time for another beer review. Now, as I say, it uh, pretty much majority of the beginning of these videos. If you have just found us here on YouTube, give us a thumbs up on the video, give us a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. It's the Hop House. We like hoppy beer. We like good house music. We're on the beer side, uh, as again the majority of the videos have been. Uh, we're looking at today at another beer from Aldi. Uh, it's one of their craft beer ranges in a 330 milliliter can. Um, now, this beer, I think, believe it's been out maybe about a year to 18 months. Um, but to be honest, I thought they'd discontinued it because I haven't seen it in there for ages. And then a couple of days ago, I went in there to do a bit of shopping. I'm an Aldi shopper, like me Aldi, like cheap stuff. I'm a Yorkshireman, so I'm tight with me money, right? Right. So I saw it in there and I thought, oh, I haven't had that. Got a couple of cans of it. And I thought I'll do one, I'll review it for the channel. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, Aldi beers have been hit and miss. They're 440 mil can ranges that hot foundry stuff, dreadful, awful. Don't know who brews it, but shame on them. So, what Aldi tend to do is they'll mimic stuff, right? So, they'll copy it, they'll mimic it the best they can. And um, a bit like this, we've already reviewed it on the channel, their anti establishment IPA, bit of a rip off of. Brewdog's Punk IPA in 4 Pure in the can design. Uh, or they will just randomly make up breweries um, that don't exist. Uh, it never tells you who brews them. Sort of to fake craft it, if you like. To me, if it's good, I'll drink it. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I like my beer. I'm into drinking beer because I like the flavours. I'm into the flavours. Uh, certain foods are like flavours as well. Stuff like strong cheese, blue cheese and stuff like that. I really like that because I like flavours. But I'm not, what I consider myself, I'm certainly not a beer snob. I wouldn't consider myself a beer connoisseur either. I just, you know, I'm not bothered who brews it. It's good. I'll, I'll drink it. They have done also done a few beers with Williams Brothers and they've put their name on the can. They seem to be the only sort of um, brewery in their craft beer range that they've done that with. So it's either copy it or make it up. So that's what we know about Aldi beers. Do you want to know what we're reviewing today? Okay, so today it's this 330 milliliter Coca-Cola size can and it is Buckhorn Brewery and it's their stateside IPA. Have a look at that again. Buckhorn Brewery, stateside IPA. It says sweet on that side, bitter on that side and it's 5.5% in the ABV. So Buckhorn Brewery, never heard of them. I googled them, they don't exist. This is another contract brewed beer from Aldi that they've gone ahead and made up a, a brewery name for it. They've done it with a hop foundry, 10-4 brewing. Um, they've done it with the, the blue can with all the faces on that I really like. The, Phantom Pale Ale, that's a made-up brewery. So they, they just tend to come out with all sorts of stuff. Um, they're Harper's Brewing Company. Contract brewed by Marsons, the bottled stuff. But again, they've just made up a brewery name. So this is Buckhorn Brewery, apparently. It's the only beer they've ever done, I believe. So, one hit wonders. Or maybe it's a fail. Let's find out. So let's get it out into the glass. I've got the uh, beautiful Coracle Microphone glass. Uh, and then we need to wash it because um, I did just have another beer off camera before filming this so out into the glass I can't imagine it to be cloudy or hazy because usually Aldi beers aren't usually pretty see-through and this is no exception I don't imagine it to have any yeast or life sediment in it either price wise sorry I haven't even mentioned the price um, as I say, I thought it had been discontinued. I think the first time I got it, about one, one pound nine, one pound twenty a can. This was now ninety nine pence. This and the blue can with the faces on it, what I really like, the Phantom Pale Ale, are both ninety nine p. Now the Phantom Pale Ale, I think, is really, really good, especially for the price. But I, I really like that. It, it's a beer that I would buy and buy and buy again when I'm going to Aldi because I'm an Aldi shopper. Right, so have a look at this that it looks beautiful the, the carbonation's kind of slowed down a bit it was a bit fizzy, fizzy and hissy when I first opened it but if you have a look at that crack 
back in. Looks good, golden. Maybe medium golden colour, not necessarily that light a golden, but it's the sort of colour that I'd expect from an, an American IPA. Right. Get the old schnozzle in there, so we'll give it a whiff, see what we can sniff. So I can smell malt. Sweet malt, so in the middle, bready malt. I can smell a tiny little bit of citrus in the smell. I can also taste like a marmalade tartness. So, is it sort of traditional hopped as well as American hop? There is a citrus twang to it though. Maybe a bit grapefruity, a little bit of lemony, lemony, limey, grapefruit. Not necessarily the sweet citrus, it's not really a New England style beer, is it? It's clear and see through. Um, smells. It smells like beer, put it that way. It doesn't smell like tropical fruit juice. It smells like beer. It smells quite malty, but a bit citrusy. So it's, it smells like a beer that's got a little bit going on. It's 99p a can. Right, try it. So, bottoms up, down the hatch. Ooh. For a 99 pence beer, that's lovely. That's really nice. So, it says on the can, sweet and bitter, and it is. It's nicely balanced. So you get the sweet through the middle of the tongue, as we know, the, the bitterness down the sides. And it's really, mm, the back end, it's really, makes me, ooh, makes me want more. Mmm. Doesn't taste like 5.5% at all. That's really Moorish. I could quite easily drink that and more of it and more of it and more of it again. If it tells us anything else on this um, book home brewery. Oh, we've got hops. We know what hops are in this. Bear in mind, 99 pence a can. A quid. Well, under, you get a penny change from a pound. So from this, from a penny change from a pound coin, you get it crafted in small batches using Cascade, Admiral, Summit, Citra, Nelson Sorvin, and Helatar Blank. That's six hops, one pound. Six hops for one pound. If it does contain all that, that is ridiculous and ingenious and brilliant. Contains a gluten sauce, barley. Um, take it, it doesn't tell us who brews it. Especially produced for Aldi stores, limited, no. It's very Moorish though, I'm picking up more of it, I want to drink some more of it. Yeah, I like that, that's good. That is. That is upon the same lines as the um, that Phantom Pale Ale, the blue can with the faces that looks like um, Beaver Town and Magic Rock. Now, this is the kind of beer that I could drink lots of. Bear in mind it is 5.5%. I think the malt bill and that the switch from the malt probably does provide that alcohol gravity. There's definitely hops in there, I can taste them, and it's still going on. Aftertaste wise, it's pretty bitter on the aftertaste. It's quite there, it's quite there. It's sort of going away a bit now, but it's it's bittersweet, it is balanced, it does exactly what it says on the tin. And for a quid you can't beat that. This beer, along with the um, Phantom Pale Ale, I'm trying to think of the name of the fake brewer they come up with the Phantom Pale Ale on, I can't think of it now, but it's very iconic if you go in there. We've reviewed it on the channel, go have a look at Phantom Pale Ale. Um, but they're both 99p in Aldi right now. We're, we're sort of coming up to the end of April, 2021. So you can get them a quid a can. Um, no, that anti-establishment's a bit more than that. But they're, they're, they're 99p. And that is the kind of beer that I could clear the shelf. Maybe not clear the shelf, but you know, 
let me get I'm going to a barbecue or I'm going to a house party or something like that that's the kind of beer 99p a can I know what I'm gonna get I know it's gonna be tasty it's gonna be nice and it probably will go because it's got the malt bill in there as well it'll probably go really well with cooked meats see so your barbecue style food your burgers and your sausages and your steaks and your lamb steaks lamb chops and um, things like that so I would quite happily buy five cans of this and five cans of the phantom pale ale and I'd knock them back and I'd love it it'd be great and hopefully at this barbecue as well we've got a bit of a sound system and I'll, I'll stick my, my decks on there and I'll spin some tunes as well so I'll have some good beer some good food and some good house music that's my kind of house party in terms of that Now, it's definitely got a thumbs up. Would I give it two? Or would I give it a thumb and a half? I'll give it two. I'll give it two thumbs up. I will because of the price. Because it's a pound a can and it's readily available nationwide, I believe, in Aldi. Whether or not it's reduced down because it used to be either £1.9 or £1.20, it's down to 99p. Does that mean that, that it's clearing off? It's going to be getting out of there and they're getting a different beer range in? I don't know. But it is two thumbs up from me. It is a lovely tasting beer. For for under a pound, you know, even look at it in the glass. I know, I know I've got this new craft beer glass and I can't stop using it. I'm like a kid with a new toy. Um, but you know, look at it. Look at it, lace. This is a pound of can. Crazy. Simple. Two thumbs up from me. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share and subscribe and we'll see you again for another beer review. I've got some beers in the fridge, chilling, that I'm going to do. Um, shall I tell you? Yeah, go on. You know the Vocation Tropical from Tesco? You know the beer that I've actually raved about and everybody else is a bit... Mm. Well, they've rebrewed it. So I've got an old can versus a new can. And we're going to have a can off. So that's coming up. Ciao for that. Ciao for now, people. See you later.